want to thank everybody for attending uh, this morning's presentation on Medicare Center. There is a lot of detail to get through. I'm going to try and keep this to 60 minutes as best I can because obviously we have some things going on at work, like flu shots. I want to make sure I get mine today and things like that. So a lot of stuff to get to. Uh, I'm going to pre-apologize for any ancillary uh, noise since I am parked pretty much in Grand Central Station on the third floor here at Golden Care. So uh, again, my apologies. Apologies for that if any uh, noises are there. But uh, without further ado, we'll get started. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to put those in there. I'll try and answer those best I can within a timely manner. Otherwise, I'll have to answer those individually later on. We go from there because like, like I said, there's a lot of information, a pretty in-depth uh, view of what Medicare Center is going to be like. Hopefully you guys can all see my screen here. And if you do have a secondary screen and you want to have this up and go through it at the exact same time that I am doing it, happy to uh, to kind of help go through that. It'll make a lot more sense as we go. So, oh, excuse me one moment. <laughs> Uh, all right. So again, if you've never been to Medicare Center, uh, all you need to do is go to MedicareCenter.com. It is free for any contracted agent of Golden Care to utilize since we are part of the Integrity Marketing family. So here we go. So when you're at MedicareCenter.com, you'll need to register if you haven't done so already. Fairly easy to do. Name, information, NPN number, uh, and go from there. And just to show you what that looks like. That's it, create a password, and then all you have to do is register. Okay, so if we're logging in, we're gonna go here, you get the home page. You have three different areas you can look at. You have the MAPD, PDP, Medicare Supplement, and Client Management. Uh, we'll dive a little bit into the CRM because there are some new features with this that are going to be launched very, very shortly, which is gonna make it really, really nice. It, it currently does not talk to the enrollment quoting platform, but it will in the near future. So that's what Integrity is working on right now. Uh, the Medicare supplement is a feature that looks very similar to CSG. We'll go over that, but I'm gonna make my main focus here on this area here on the left with the Medicare Advantage and PDP. Uh, below, Real quick, there are some learning centers, uh, sales tips, tech guides, working remotely, carrier guides, uh, things like that that you can take some time individually to look at if you have any questions about that. But right now, we're just gonna dive in right away. When you click on the Medicare Advantage and PDP, it comes up to two different areas and they are, def they are definitely different. I'm gonna go over both of these. You have Medicare app and you have Medicare link. Medicare app is the old, it's not the old, old new version of Medicare Center. Medicare Link is a different quoting enrollment tool through Sunfire, um, through Sunfire that unfortunately doesn't talk with the other one, but it gives you two different aspects to utilize to view, quote, and enroll clients that are available to you. So when you're ready to log in, you click on the Medicare app link. And I'll prompt you up to the Medicare app uh, homepage. Uh, you can see your login and your account information if you are logged in perfectly there. Uh, you can search plans right away or you can search your beneficiaries, uh, beneficiaries as you go through there. At the bottom of the page, you can have your physician drug and ph pharmacy finder uh, and things, different things like that. Click on that real quick, show you what that looks like. Uh, just pop in your oops, zip code and you can then it'll show you what plans are available from what providers. Obviously through Medicare app, the way that it works is the only vendors that you are, or only carriers that you're going to find are the ones that you are contracted with that are available through Medicare app. So for myself, uh, it's Alina Aetna. United Healthcare and Humana. I know Medica is going to be added into this eventually. We're just having uh, sometimes a little bit of a problem getting the right information to Integrity Marketing and Medicare Center to get that information in there, but it is coming. It's just a matter of communication between the three, uh, two different parties, okay? 
So again, there's a, your PDPs that are available in really if you want to find providers find prescriptions or find a pharmacy just clicking on these links and you'll be able to find any doctor that's available within your area shows you on the map where they are located uh, so on this map there are eight using the plus and the minus you can see where the rest of those are um, a lot of them you can't scroll unfortunately on that uh, and go go from there. If you want to find a specific one, you can certainly type that in, hit the search button, and that will give you that as well. Uh, adding prescriptions, uh, you can search for those prescriptions if you have. Uh, look for that and see what kind of uh, dosages and things like that are available, or finding any pharmacies in the area as well. So again, searching within this area, you can expand that out by using the plus and the minus on that and looking at all that. So again, it will show you if it's a preferred network or not within this. So again, the differences between utilizing with the Alina network, um, West Health, Cub, CVS are preferred in network pharmacies, whereas in Genoa, healthcare is a standard one. So it does show you the differences between those versus others. So we're just going to go back. We're going to go back to the front, go back to Medicare plans. Okay, so now when, when you're doing that, that's just through the pharmacy uh, provider search, things like that. Uh, what you want to do, essentially, I'll create a new profile again to kind of show you how this works. So to be able to add your clients in here, and again, like I said, the CRM feature, feature is going to start coordinating with this in the in the very very near future so you can create a profile in the crm and then it'll be linked to medicare app when you come in here add in the zip code i'm just going to make this easy i'll put all my stuff in there um date of birth you don't have to have in there making sure everything that is in a red asterisk is there but again the more information you have regarding your client's information the easier it is going through this in the process uh is the sales contact information different from the beneficiary? No. Uh, if you have their Medicare ID, if you have their effective dates, you can go ahead and put that. If they have any current plans that they're on, uh, you can put that in as well because it's just more information that you have from there. Okay. So now I'm going to save that profile. You're going to see that I'm going to have about 16 of these listed for myself in there. So now when you can go in just below that, you have um, anything that you're going to need to go forward with, their preferences, the scope of appointment, when continuing on the plans. My suggestion is to go to continue to the scope of appointment right away because that way you can get everything squared away. Obviously, if this is a meeting that you are setting up in the future or as if they come to uh, talking to you on the phone, that way you can get their information right away. The nice thing about Medicare app is that you can send a scope of appointment via email address and or text. It's a great way to do that. I will I will do both uh, to kind of show you how it works. The text feature will be a lot faster than than via email for for me because of the security that Integrity Marketing has on our on our system. But uh, rest assured, I'll show you what they both are. You just gotta click on that button. And you can just see up here where a text was sent. Uh, once that pops up, I will show you what that looks like. Nope, sent, sent the wrong number. Hold on a second. Sent to my phone. I can't send you, show you guys that. All right, let's save that. Go back in there. Dun, 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 text SOA. Okay. Oops. Show you guys this. Okay, uh, this just popped up right here. This information, complete your scope of appointment from Medicare app. So I'll just open this up. Again, you can see this, I've done this a number of times already before, but this one from today, right here on the very bottom, to complete your scope of appointment from Medicare app, you can simply just click, have your client click on that link, and that'll pop open the scope of appointment, and you can go over that with them. 
This is a very generic scope of appointment. And again, mark anything that you are going to talk about today within, within that. Make sure that all their information is in there properly. Zip code, phone, are you the authorized representative? No, I'm not. Making sure they check this box, that is basically their signature agreeing to the scope of appointment. And then hit, have them hit submit form. Or smart, we'll be able to do all this. Okay, and then they get uh, this, the scope of appointment has been submitted. Again, here what we're, here's what we're gonna talk about. Make sure you have, as a reminder, your Medicare card, any medications that you're gonna have and all list of your current physicians and numbers. Make sure that they are verified in that network with that. Okay. All right, that's how that works. Oops, I should have done that at the same time. Now again, I sent an email to that for an SOA so I can show you what that looks like when it comes via email, but it does have all those notes on there as well. I apologize if I'm going through this extremely quick, um, but there's a lot to get to uh, with that. Again, this will take a little bit of time to get this to come through. While this is coming through, does anybody have any questions right away? I know everybody's muted. If you guys want to ask, ask those in the chat. Hold on one second. No, okay. Now it was still coming through via. I'll I'll let that pop up when we go to. So in the meantime, if you do it by text or if you do it via email, then you can go in and add preferences to the to your client. And this this isn't necessary, but it's nice again to have. The more information it is, the easier you can go over the health questions, what providers, what prescriptions, and what pharmacies they want to have. Uh, depending on what type of coverage they're looking for, is it MA only or um, supplement? Is, do they only need a PDP to go along with the plans they have or if they don't know? Most of the time, you're going to use the medical and prescription drug. So, and again, when going through this, do they have do, re do receive help paying for prescription drugs at all? No, I'm not eligible for assistance. I'll just hit continue on that. You know, what age are they? Depending on what it is, you can always skip that. Doesn't matter. Uh, where do they have do they have a facility that they want to see? Uh, it doesn't matter where it is. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go with. Let's go with. Where should I go? Now, yeah, it doesn't matter. So again, down in my area where I live. Prior Lake, or a bunch of people down here, all right there. But you can see a list again of those providers. And if they, if this is a PCP that they want to have, they have a specific name. Uh, you just go ahead and you can add that, and it becomes that that PCP on there. Again, you don't with PDPs, you don't, or I'm sorry, with PDPs and or MAPDs, you don't have to have the PCP there. But at least you can have that available to them. Uh, and again, on, on my list, there is 25 of them there. And then once you're done with that, here we go. We can set that person as a primary care provider, and then all of a sudden they're starred on there, and it'll be added to the application when we're ready. So when you're done with that, you can hit continue. Okay, uh, blue button. Hopefully a lot of people are familiar with what blue button is, but it's a new feature. It's a newer feature that CMS had provided so that people can upload all of their prescriptions onto medicare.gov and be able to have that listed. So when it, if they need to do that, they're gonna to need to create account. But what you can do is you can either do it in manually here or you can connect that blue button with my medicare.gov account and you can send them an email address with that link for them to log in and that way you have all that information. Still haven't gotten that email yet. 
So in order to do that, uh, da, 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 let's go with this. Okay, you can just send that email. This will probably take about 10 minutes to get. Apologize for that. But it'll, I'll show you what the link looks like to be able to get them logged in and going from there. All right, hey, I just got the SOA. I'll show you what this looks like. Oops, I'll do this. You guys don't want to see all my emails. All right, so this is what this SOA looks like when it comes in via email. Again, to log in to view the SOA, you just click on that button. That'll, again, reopen. Because we already did it. I don't care about this. But it just reopens that to be able to log in and gets back in, into that. Okay, pharmacies. Uh, there's no wall. There's got to be a Walgreens near me. I know there is. There we go. Okay. Bunch of Walgreens uh, down by me. This one's close enough to where I live. We're going to add that. And again, as you see, when I've added that Walgreens in there, as my preferred pharmacy, it creates a star there because that way it knows uh, where I can get my prescription drugs if I need those. We're just going to hit continue on the bottom. And it's going to automatically take us into the plans once we're doing all that health information. And again, as, as we go up here, MAPDs, MA only, PDPs, it does it will not show med subs on here. Just it just doesn't. Uh, so again, unfortunately right now for me, all I have are United Healthcare, Humana, and the Aetna plans available to me. So now at this point, as you can see, all my information is here that I've added in for my preferences. And then we're going to go on and go forward. So a few different things to look at here. As you can tell with each one, you can view the plan details here. You can add a quote or you can add to a cart. So going forward to start, we're going to add some, some of these zero plans to the quote. And as you click on those, they're listed up top. Uh, and then we're going to go with Alliance. We're just going to go all three with those. And so now that you have all those zero plans up here, you can only do up to three, unfortunately. Uh, you can go ahead and send a quote to that person. You can send that via email and via text. Uh, for time's sake, I'm just going to send it via text. You can put in a personal message uh, on here. This is one that is default on there, but you can certainly send it a more personal message if you like to. And go ahead and send a quote. And then there is a specific code that pops up with this. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this over that is attached to that within the text itself. Pull this back over. Okay, here's your quote from Medicare.app. Just click on that link. Again, that, that code that was in there is specific to that person. No one else can utilize that. Again, here's the authorization code that you want it that you had with there, they can go ahead and plug that in. And as you see uh, with that, this is the authorization code right here. It's within that text message that they have, so they are not gonna miss it. You do have a copy of that well uh, as well, so you can reform them of that if you're doing this over, you know, with them over the phone. So once you punch in that code, hit continue. Okay, and here's what it looks like when they receive that quote, they're doing it online. Review any kind of information, their health in, information that you've already put in there. But again, here are the plans that we decided to go uh, forward with, the $0 plans. Here's what your deductibles are, your max out of pocket. Here's your estimated annual cost based on annual visits to the doctor. And you can go ahead and select there. So if you wanna compare these plans, you certainly can. And you, and you can either show the plan differences, which are which is a good idea to do, so you can see the actual out-of-pocket cost with that, um, or not. You don't have to, because uh, otherwise it 
it's nice to highlight if people aren't as tech savvy, but if they can get this far, they've got to be tech savvy enough. They can just see what it is eventually. Now, the differences that you're going to see with carriers in here, um, obviously, when it, with additional information here, uh, Alina Aetna gives us a lot of good information that we can utilize. And this is just a difference, not saying that one's better than the other. Um, it, it just gives you a little bit more detail with what's involved involved to it. So again, they see this is a $0 plan, offers a variety of benefits that go beyond original Medicare, $0 PCP, dental, vision, hearing, OTC, telehealth, visitor, travel information. Now, most of you already know that Humana and United Healthcare also offer those type of things as well. They just not listed here. Okay. Now, uh, scrolling down, we don't have any drugs on there, but we can always add those in later. Health costs based on annual checkups. Here's what your cost would be when visiting the doctor. So you can see that information there. Again, your max out of pockets, uh, specialist visits, what all that the differences are. Just kind of scrolling down through this real quick. Prescription drug coverage, what their annual costs would be on that. Uh, what the differences are on the tiering systems for each one. Uh, if you want to view more detail in getting the plan documents, just clicking on this link. Here, again, there's the full summary of benefits, the formulary, prior authorization form, step therapy, actual evidence of coverage if you want to go through that process, uh, LIS, star ratings. Again, you need to know what star ratings are, and that just forwards you on to the actual PDF from Alina. This is a star rating of this plan, okay? Which is nice because it's from the actual from the summary benefits and evidence of coverage of what the actual star rating is with that. Um, provider directory, you can still, again, go look and find a dro uh, doctor if you want. The one that I picked is, is fortunately out of network. Oh, well, we just have a good relationship because I've seen them a number of different times. Actually, I don't know who that person is, but just kind of give you an idea of what's happening. Uh, again, the pharmacy that you selected and, and go from there. Okay, a lot of information that's on this. A lot of information. Okay, uh, I, I recommend not using your back button as much as possible, but utilizing this previous button up here. That'll get you back onto the page a little bit better uh, so you can get more well navigated on this page. We're going to go back again. Okay, and that is that as far as a comparison aspect to it. Okay. So now we're just going to exit out of those. Any questions? Du, du, du. Uh, well care, I'm not sure, Janet, if well care is going to be on there. Blue Cross, I, I don't know. Are you care? It, it's really hard. It's up to Integrity Marketing to get those contracts from those people uh, and go from there. Uh, does Medicare Center store medication lists that have been entered via Medicare Center? Yes, they should because you have access to, if they go, again, back through mymedicare.gov, all that information is stored there. So it's saved on that person's profile. It'll call a lot like blue button with that. Okay, why is this box so small? Uh, sign up approval room to access blue button. It'll automatically link. Uh, let me see if I've gotten that. All right. So here's what that looks like to go into uh, the blue button. Blue button. Easy for me to say. Area. So again, they're going to get this link where they can log into mymedicare.gov and they can log in their information. Again, I don't have this, so I don't. I can't show you how, how it is, but this way they'll go in there and if they've created an account, all that information will get linked to their profile with Medicare Center. Let's see, quick. Uh, Medicare, uh, okay, so hopefully that answered that question. Don't want to do that. Uh, Janet, how long is the information stored on SOA? It's stored normally, uh, like any any other SOA. It's there until a 
until it's not. So it's going to be stored there for up to at least 10 years. Well, other Medicare plans have access to more than just Aetna. It, this is, okay, so getting back to to this here with these plans that are available, this is on my profile for what I am contracted that's available through Medicare app. Uh, when we get in the Medicare link in just a little bit, I'll show you a different aspect of you, where you're going to be able to see all of the carriers there. Okay, but good question. Excuse me for one moment. I don't know who asks. I don't know who asked this question regarding a Medicare app account. Oh, did someone just register? Well, that's just a that's a simple thing where someone within the office will give you. You'll probably have that in the next couple hours, is my guess, to be able to go through there. So, if you don't have, if you're not, if you just registered, uh, someone within Golden Care approves that, and then you're in. As long as we have all the information, so employees all have all that stuff. Okay, all right. Good question so far. Thank you. All right. So we've done a quote, but now we want to be able to say, okay, we've been through our quote. I want to be able to add uh, add this stuff based on information. Okay. I want to be able to go. I'm I'm going to go with United Healthcare. I think that they offer the best plan that works best for me. Okay. So you go ahead and you can add that to your cart. Uh, you can, again, view the details. You can change the plan or remove the plan. Either way, whatever you want to do. So there's two different ways we can go about this. You can send to the beneficiary to sign and submit, or you can complete this form, form for them while you're on the phone or doing this online and continue to go from there. Excuse me. Okay, if you want to send that to them, you can click on that button and hit continue to apply, and that will then get emailed to them. Now be directed to the carrier's enrollment platform. Okay, continue to get redirected, and that will now get us into Connecture to go through the actual application. Okay, so again, like any other application, uh, once we've gone through the full summary of benefits, that's on the plan information, star rating, things like that. Just going to verify everything here as personal information, date of birth. I'm just going to put a fake one in there. Uh, phone number, email address, city, state, zip. Do I have a separate mailing address? I'd like to see correspondence. No. Emergency contact. No. You do have to answer these questions. So if I did not select any of these, it wouldn't allow me to go forward and it will show you exactly where you need to. Um, I, again, there's a lot of information on here. Here's the plan information on the right hand side, full summary of benefits, actual enrollment application in, in Espanol if you need that, star ratings, all that fun stuff. Okay, so we're just going to go, once that information is there, we're going to click on next. Okay. Uh, benefit information, you're just going to grab all this information from their uh, Medicare card. Uh, I am going to have some fun and I'm going to utilize this because it allows me to. John L. Smith, Medicare number, let's verify this. Part A effective date, Part B effective date. Now we go from that. Uh, enrollment option, this is again, what enrollment option are we in? Uh, typically, Medicare Advantage annual enrollment period, October 15th through December 7th is the typical one you're going to utilize. Uh, or if they're just retiring, I'm new to Medicare. Everyone, from my, from my understanding, here should understand what enrollment period that you are going to utilize. If you don't have, if, you, if you're not aware, you can click on these buttons here, saying they're recently moved. They're, they have an SCP because they moved out of the service area for their current plan and they want to be able to roll on that. You're clicking on that, so you're utilizing an SCP for that. And then it's going to ask you for what date they moved. If you're new to Medicare, unclick that. I'm new to Medicare. I just retired. Uh, I'm going from there. You don't have to worry about a date because obviously you have an SCP for, uh, for that or if they're in their ICEP or IEP. Okay, but making sure you're selecting the correct enrollment that you're utilizing uh, 
it because it will go through to United Healthcare and they'll call you with uh, questions in regard to that. So I'm just going to say I'm new to Medicare. Going from that prescription drug, do you have other prescription drug coverage? Again, this is only going to apply for those people who utilize that. If they're on an MA, po MA only plan, they get federal assistance with that, like the VAs. Uh, go ahead and select that. Long term care, I'm not a long term care facility. Uh, does my spouse work? No. Do you have assistance from Medicaid? No. Okay. Go ahead and click next. Okay. Again, PCP is optional. You do not have to answer these unless it is an HMO plan. Um, and then they'll need your I they'll need the ID. So we're going to skip from that. Uh, next thing from here is paying your plan premium. How would you like to get that? Do you want a monthly bill or do you want an automatic deduction from Social Security or any railroad benefits that you have, depending on how you want to do that? Make sure you select that you want to get that from Social Security between the two. I want to receive my information in English, and then go ahead and hit Next. So on this page, it's just a review of everything that you've just done on the previous pages. If you need to go back and change anything, you can go ahead and open that up. There's an edit button if we need to change anything with that. Same with the with the benefits, making sure the Medicare number is correct. Okay. And there we go. Once that is confirmed, everything is accurate, go ahead and do that. Then making sure that if they are the beneficiary or the POA, power of attorney that can sign this for them, go ahead and select that specific one. And here, if they are a POA, it is going to ask for their information so then it can be verified uh, with that. Okay. And go ahead, and once they're done, we're going to go ahead and click send a beneficiary. And for time purposes, we're going to utilize via text versus email because it will take a lot faster to get to me. And there it is. There's my authorization quote um, to access that information. Oops. Not that's how fast that comes. So again, to complete your enrollment form, click on this link, close that. All right, what is my authorization code? Paste that in there. You're gonna go ahead, hit submit. Okay, so again, this is a, a review of information that we have on there. We're gonna open up all these information to make sure that is correct. Yes, that is all correct. Yes, that is all my Medicare stuff information there. And the right and the right enrollment one. Notice now with this, as as a beneficiary, I cannot change this enrollment form uh, as far as what code it is. Only you as the agent is, are able to do that if we need to do that. Again, going through and hitting the edit button, you'll be able to have access to that. Prescription drug coverage, making sure that's okay and any other information, PCP, how you want to get billed, boom, boom, boom. I have read this information and confirmed this is correct. Go ahead and submit. Okay, your application has been submitted. Now, for those of you, this is the first time seeing this, I just applied for a United Healthcare $0 Headwaters plan. That is a live application I just submitted. I'll get a call in two weeks confirming that like I do all, all the time. And I just tell them to take care of it, not a big deal uh, because I'm not anywhere near Medicare right now. But this is what they see on that. They also get uh, information copied to them via email stating that this has been submitted. And once I receive that, I doubt I have. So all that information is there, application details, your confirmation, and you can actually view the application by clicking on this. We'll pop open a PDF of that information that they can then download and save for their records. You can as well. Save that. And there we go. Okay, there's information that we submitted to multiple to month of premium, the time that the date that we've done it, the agent that we're working on with it. And there's our SOA, our benefit information that's been copied, our enrollment, 
and all this from all this fun information that we did before with that. Okay. Again, I know I went through that really, really quick. So with that, questions. I know I'm going through this really, really fast. All right. Thank you, Janet. Uh, so uploading, good question, Rick, uploading documents. This is more of an online, uh, in the CRM, I believe, and, and I don't think I'm 100% certain, but I believe within the CRM, you might be able to do a paper application and submit it that way. But as of right now, this is all online stuff. That's a good question. That I don't answer. In the application, where is the agent identified as the agent of record? It doesn't state that, it just shows the information that's on there. So as, as many of you are aware, based on the plan that they are on. Now, uh, if you're if you're going from, we'll just use Humana as an, as, as an example, if you're moving one person from one Humana plan to another Humana plan, whoever the agent of record was at that time is still the agent of record because you are a new agent to them does not mean that you are the agent of record with that. If you are switching from a Humana plan to a United Healthcare plan, then you become that agent of record. Uh, different The carriers work differently in that way. Um, I believe Aetna is the same way, being be, become, becoming you the new agent of record if you change plans internally. Uh, Medica, is that way as well, but Humana is not. Uh, so there are different rules when it comes to that. It doesn't necessarily state as an agent of record on the application. Good question, Harvey. We enroll a client through Medicare app. We also have opportunity to do throw through HR VSA questions and gain credit for having done them. Um, good question. Um, I don't know if I know the answer to that. Uh, to be honest, a good question. Uh, I'm gonna have to talk to you separately on that, Harvey. Norm, does it make a diff difference if working um, for spouse? Well, because then it means that if are you eligible for employee benefits through your spouse? Uh, good question, Norman. If you want it, but it shouldn't because then it'll give you an ancillary question. Uh, are you receiving benefits through employer benefits going from there? Okay. Okay. Any more questions on Medicare app? So I know a lot of this stuff is, um, gone, I've gone over this really, really quick. Okay. Here again, this, I, I skipped over this really, really quick because I opened up uh, the text really fast. But again, here's the application was sent to text. There's the profile. I'm going to go from there. Okay. Uh, on the profile then, up here in the upper right-hand corner, uh, here, here's my profile. If we, if we click on that, now, now you can go see, here are all the notes that of things that we have done. Application was sent, but my Medicare.gov email was sent, the SOA was sent multiple times uh, just for that. But you can add in any other tasks or any other notes that you wanna have in there. But all that information is saved based on the profile profile that you have open in the top right hand uh, side right here, okay? Um, and again, I, all I did was slip, uh, click on plans and, and it goes back to what's available for that. You can view non-licensed plans, again, stuff that I am not appointed with necessarily, but I might be, but it doesn't mean it's there, okay? Now, by doing that, it has all the information on there, health partners, Blue Cross, Blue Shield. But again, what the difference is with these is that you cannot quote and you cannot enroll these people currently. I'm not saying that you're not gonna be able to be there in the future, but you can still see all that information there. Okay, and that's just clicking on the button up here that says view uh, non-contracted ones. Although for me, on here, UCARE, I do have a UCARE appointment. I do have a Medica one. I do have a number of other ones too on here. I do not have Blue Cross Blue Shield or Health Partners, but they are available to be able to see with that. Okay. All right. Any further questions on Medicare app? Got about 20 minutes left. I don't want to 
take up too much more time on this if I don't have to. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go out of this. We're going to go out of this. And we're going to go into Medicare Link. Okay. Medicare Link is a completely different quote and enrollment tool. Uh, I like to use this quite a bit for quoting. Uh, to me, it's a little bit easier to use, a little bit more to view. As you can tell up here, it's through Sunfire Connect. Again, it's got a lot of different aspects. It, it's got the same aspects and, and some different aspects. I feel that this is easier for quoting than it is for enrollment uh, going forward. So going through here real quickly uh, on this dashboard, as you're logged in, you can see your profile up here that's automatically connected. Uh, any contacts that you have, uh, bum, 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 bum. I'm going to search for any contacts. Again, these are all the ones that I have listed here that I've created for myself based on that last name there. Uh, I can clear that out uh, here. So this information here, contacts, quote and enroll, send a scope and reporting is the exact same thing that's on the, on the left-hand side here. So you can either quickly, if you are in, uh, search your contacts and you want to go ahead and quote and enroll, you can do that as well. But if you do have contacts, again, I'm doing this extremely fast. Uh, if you do have a con uh, contact here that you want to do, you can over on these th buttons here on the left-hand side, click on this. You can start a quote, send your personal URL with it and scope of appointment as well. So if we're doing that, again, we want to do a scope of appointment on this. Again, here is my customer profile up here that I just accidentally erased. So I'll go back in here and do that again. Okay. Uh, again, you can go up here and view if they, you can, these are notes for yourself. They're never going to see this. Active, new, duplicate, deceased, ineligible, left voicemail, follow up. Um, this is all notes for you to put in there to see where you are exactly within your quote uh, enrollment. And again, I've already done all this stuff again. So what we're going to do here, we're going to go new. We're going to save that. So we have new stuff. And again, with this, here's where you can do this. You can upload paper application onto this one. You can complete the scope of appointment. You can you you can email and send a text. Uh, I will send this via text. Uh, and again, making sure that we're selecting all the stuff that we're talking about here, beneficiary's name. I'm just gonna do this really, really fast. Uh, for time purposes, this should make method of contact, incoming call. Uh, we're gonna talk about MAPDs, date of scope. Today is 09, 17, 20, 21. Um, boom, 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 boom. And we're gonna send that text to the profile. Again, here is your personal information code that is specific to them. Oops. Making sure you, okay, that was weird. Uh, put in the correct phone number. And again, having this code is specific to them. They're gonna need that to log in, okay? The text that'll come shortly here, okay? That was sent there again now on my on this customer's profile you see the text was sent on this date has it been completed no you can view the text again there is a personal code for that person we still need to contact to sign that which has not come through yet interestingly enough there we go all right Again, see, this is a much different uh, process coming through. Please click, click on the link to electronically sign the scope of appointment through Sunfire Matrix uh, with the license agent that is doing that. So it looks a lot different. I oh, got it twice, uh, but it looks a lot different from doing that. So go ahead. They're going to go ahead and click on this link. Okay, that member, again, it doesn't show you what that personal code is, but it is, oops, it is in that text. 
It is specific to this specific scope of appointment. You cannot use multiple codes on different ones. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. Okay, you're going to verify everything that's on here. You have a uh, person put their initials or, or put their name in there to sign it. We're going to go from here, and then we're going to go ahead and hit save. Okay. Again, thank you for completing your scope of appointment. I'm going to contact you, uh, contact you shortly about our visit. You're your wonderful agent, myself, and go from there. Okay, so you can go ahead and close that out. So now, again, it's it's been signed, but it hasn't updated. So I'm just going to refresh using this button here. Now you can see that it has been signed, not fully completed, but you, as the agent, need to sign. Go ahead and click on that button. It's been signed. Boom. So now you can view this. Okay. Here is your scope of appointment that has been finalized. Everything there. Uh, notice here down on the button uh, on the notifications, you will receive notification that the scope has been signed. You can click on that. It'll get you to the same same place eventually. But it gives you multiple different things where you can you can see with notifications down here where it needs to get signed by you as the agent. So small. Maybe today it'll work. Refresh this page. Let's see if that makes better or worse. All right, perfect. Everything there is signed and we are good to go. Boom, boom, boom. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to quote. We're going to add in our profile. Okay, what are the plans are we going to discuss? We'll just go Medicare part. MAPD part and part D. It doesn't matter if you want to do med subs, you can do that. Uh, any MA only or special need plans. Um, again, it's going to go through these. Are you, do you need prescription? Are you taking any prescriptions? No, I'm not sure. Uh, I have separate prescription drug coverage. Make sure we answer these because again, this is all based on the customer profile and how well it is, how it's done. The more again, the more information you have is better. I uh, want to have flexibility seeing any provider. Uh, and this is all priority. If you want to, it's going to add this in there. If you want to have this, excuse me, if you think dental coverage is going to be the best thing for them and what whatever they tell you, then go ahead and just rank that and that'll help filter out uh, things with that. Any doctors? Uh, no, I don't need any important doctors. Am I currently enrolled? No, I am not. Uh, I don't know why I'd ask that question when I'm not enrolled. Um, required disclosures. So again, this is going to be help estimate costs. How often do you see the doctor when going through us? Me? Rarely. I never go to the doctor. That's just me. I should, but I don't. Do I? And I, do I receive uh, extra help with that stuff? No. Okay, so now what you can do is you can compare plans or you can view all plans. So what I would like to, I recommend to do is see all plans that are available to you. And as you can tell, this is a much different look to Medicare Center, uh, to Medicare Link than Medicare Center. And it'll give you everything that you are contracted with here, on this side here. On the bottom, you can unclick this box that says again appointed only or unappointed so this obviously has a little bit more information regarding myself as an agent because i have much more contracts here as far as companies to select from if i only want aetna or only want uh again can't uh, i'll get to this in a second why health partners isn't there uh medica and things like that um but if you click on this now to give you all the different ones that are available. And you can see that these are now orange and not in blue. 
because of the contract status. Now I do have uh, a, a Medica UCARE appointment, just doesn't show up that way. So getting into this, obviously it's a little bit different to be able to, to go through here. Uh, yeah, you can do a provider search on there. You can you can see right here, Janet, where you can select your preferred pharmacies or doctors accept, accepting patients. That's where you can you see that information. Okay, and that's in, that's individually based on the carrier that that's listed here. Okay, so the nice thing that I like about Medicare Link is that you can do your your comparison. You can compare and email quotes to them by selecting on the boxes they fill in here. Now, what if I want to select this compare email quote here well, with you care? Okay. Now, notice on the bottom here, this is grayed out a little bit, and these are white. The reason being is because I'm not appointed, I am, but I'm not appointed with that, you can't email that quote, but there is still a way to do that, and I'm going to show you how. But if just for, for, um, Demonstration purposes, I'll show you how to send these out. So if this UCARE one is not there and we do this other uh, Alina one there, you can simply hit compare. You can see side by side all of the, the health costs and the differences with this. Again, this is essentially your summary of benefits right here. Oh no, I'm going through this extremely fast, but it shows everything that's listed in there. Uh, some are showing a little bit more uh, differences here within preventative, what's included with all that versus others. That's just the information that Integrity Marketing is able to get from the carrier uh, versus not getting it. Okay. Your drug application, you know, drug tiering, again, full summary of benefits, star ratings, evidence of coverage, all have links to the actual PDFs of those things. So it's not fake. Uh, it's not made up. This is the actual summary of benefits for the Headwaters plan from United Healthcare. Uh, those should look very, very familiar with that. Okay. All right. Now, going back again, try not to use your back browser. It'll work, but try to go back. Now, if we wanted to email this quote, again, same thing beneficiary, email, boom. You don't have to worry about date of birth. There is. A specific code that is for this and you can just go ahead and send that via email and an email a quote and by the time I'm done I might get that email now getting back to what I had spoken about before what if I want to compare this Blue Cross plan with this you care plan versus a Medica plan now notice these are all grayed out, and if I want to be able to email those, it's going to give you a plan. Now these plans selected support online enrollment, which was required to send a proposed email. That's fine. There's still a way to do that. If you hit compare and get back into the comparison page, and you want to be able to email this, right click, hit print, And go ahead and again, this is a very large quote. As you can tell, it's 11 pages. I'm not going to print it. I'm going to save it as a PDF. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. So now when I go ahead and save that, you can change for whatever. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, you can save it to whatever you want. So in that way it gets downloaded. So now when you go in your email, boom. Teresa, I'm going to send you a quick email with a quote or a comparison. You're gonna go ahead and attach, attach the file. Again, I'm doing this very, very fast. Plans for, okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and send that. And again, as it looks, I'll show you what this looks like as a PDF. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so now as a PDF, here's that same exact quote that you can see via email and it's all in one file and going from there. So there's a way of going out uh, about and doing that. It's just a little bit of cumbersome way to do that. It's not automatically sent and boom, uh, here we go. Cause I don't think I've gotten that. 
hey, look, finally got this. Well, I got it a while ago, but I logged in. I, there's my enrollment. Okay. All right. Like I said, there is a way to go back about that, but I I like utilizing this because it, it gives you a little bit more information on a broader view on a it seems like to me a larger screen to be able to see things. Uh, you can view a breakdown of your estimated cost and how much it will cost. If you want to enroll, you can certainly do that. Now this is a little bit different. Um, I can enroll in these Alina plans. This is going to be a little bit different. I'm not able to go through this this whole thing, but going through the application information, name, last name, date of birth, okay, mail, Mr. Mrs. Ms. If you want to do that, email address, um, not a big deal. Residential address is required. You guys are now going to know, all know where I live. Which is fine. Come over, you can help clean up the trees that are in my yard right now. Uh, is your mailing address different than residential? Then go ahead and hit continue. Now here's where we're stuck, because I can't take John Smith and put it in here. It this This actually doesn't allow me to apply. So unfortunately, I can't show you what this looks like because it will not, I've tried many times, it will not go through. So the nice thing about this, and I didn't mention it before, is with Medicare app and Medicare link, there is going to be a sandbox or a, a way for you to go in and utilize this information before you, you know, submitting an application like I did before. So you're going to be able to utilize it as a playground or a sandbox to be able to test it out, make sure you have a good feel of it uh, going forward uh, at, as you go. So that feature is coming as well. Uh, this is being recorded, yes. So um, I know if some of you need to, do need to take off, that's fine uh, with other things, go right ahead. There is CE available with this as well. So uh, I'm, I'm not doing a quick wrap up, but it, kind of starting that process. Um, so look for a thank you for attending our webinar. There is free CE. There is a voucher available in there. You can fill out, send it in, and we'll credit you for CE for this. So be, you know, be on the lookout for that survey on the webinar uh, with that information there. Okay. All right. Whew. All right. So now with this action, uh, again, this is all the information that I have uh, here on my profile, everything that I need to add, any kind of notes or new contact information, all this fun stuff that that's in here. There's a lot of different things to be able to go, th go through all this stuff. Hopefully I've been able to uh, answer everybody's questions with this. I know I went through, it doesn't seem like an hour has gone by already, but uh, extremely fast. I'm more than happy to do this individually with you uh, to be able to share my screen, answer any questions as we go. Uh, is a very in-depth presentation. Uh, there's still a lot more to this. I just don't have necessarily all the time because uh, there's still some other things that I need to do today. Um, any questions that I can answer for anybody else with this? Is it necessary to use this? Um, it is not, Janet. Uh, Chrome works, uh, and I would use Internet Explorer or Firefox, those three. Yeah, uh, those are your best ones. Uh, I'm utilizing Chrome. Uh, I just don't like the Internet Explorer user uh, interface because uh, I'm just so used to Chrome. So I would use Chrome or Internet Explorer as your best options with that if you if you utilize that. But good question. Uh, it can work on an iPad. So, but be careful because I'm not sure if it's going to work on Safari. So. Um, that way, if you need to, just download Chrome on an iPad, uh, at, download the Chrome app, and then you'll be able to utilize use that on the browser. Okay. Uh, good question. I'm not sure if it works on Safari. I have not checked on my, my iPad with that, nor have I checked on any of the ones here from, from Golden Care, but I will 
we'll look into that so I can answer. I can email you, Janet, later if it does work on an iPad outside of, or including Safari, if you don't have Chrome. Okay. Scroll down. Okay. No. Any other questions? All been good. No, no more questions. Okay. Um, again, thank you everyone uh, for attending today, Medicare Center. Hopefully, you've been able to learn a lot and you can utilize this. There are some more features coming. Uh, I am going to be doing this again in, in about a week and a half on the 28th. I don't know if those new features are going to be implemented. If that's the case, this might be a two-hour presentation. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it's not, but there are some things where if we're going back into the CRM, because uh, this is a tool, again, I have add, added all this stuff in there where uh, just kind of screwing around, having having some uh, fun with it and just trying to see how it works myself. So this will eventually connect with Medicare app and be able to utilizing um, this feature here to go through and then apply, you know, go through the enrollment portal that way. So that way you can download our, the, the right now, unfortunately with your contacts, you can't upload your current CRM if you have a spreadsheet of them or whatever it may be and upload it that way. Unfortunately, you have to do it manually. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> My bad. Uh, if you have a CS file, I stand corrected, you can drop those in here. Uh, that is that is new, that it was not on there before. Uh, I'll be honest. So again, a CF, if anybody has a question what a CSV format is, it's a way to, necessarily uh, save your uh, Excel, ex, excuse me, your Excel spreadsheets. Uh, you can utilize that and, and save as, you can drop and everything in there and everything will be uploaded. Okay. So that was new, new to me. And again, I don't necessarily use that. All two of my clients, I'm really easy to Take, take track of with those of you who have more than two, um, you can upload those because that is a nice nice new feature. Then you have all that information there going forward. Okay. Okay. Like I said, I apologize if I went through everything really, really fast. Um, I just want to try and keep this to about an hour time. There's a lot of information that goes in this. If anybody would like to um, contact me, regarding going through this on a more individual basis so you have a better understanding. I am more than happy to do that. You can schedule a time and, and, and take about an hour and go through this and answer any other further questions that you have with that. Uh, when, and then with that being said, uh, no more questions right now. Thank you everybody for attending. Look for that email for thank, for thank you for attending to be able to get your free CE for this uh, and going from there. and please contact me anytime if you guys have questions with that. That being said, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy the weekend. I'm gonna clean up trees. Check out our website, goldencareagent.com or give us a call at 800-842-7799.